Hey guys, Mr. Saturday here, vlogging life for anybody else. And I'm gonna tell you a little something, what it's like living in the north. A lot of people think that if you live in the north, you live in a friggin' igloo. Let me tell you, that's not the case. You don't live in an igloo, you don't go spearing friggin' seals. There's a lot more to it than just that. <laughs> Even though that's nothing to do with it. For me, living in the north, yeah, we get some harsh winters. We get some cold winters, that's for sure. But we do get some nice summers, that's for damn sure. Well, yeah, we definitely do get some cold winters. We do get some hot summer. In this town, for instance, there's not too much to do. It's a really small town of only 54,000 people. And let's just say I call it the retirement center to the north. But one thing that us guys like to do is go for coffee. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm taking you guys with us. All right, so we're down here on our local drinking spot, the Hortons. Iced tea is delicious. And yeah, we're not having coffee. We're on the uh, the iced tea, the lemon iced tea, both of us. That's Adrian. I have a dirty shirt on. He has a dirty shirt on. He goes RC trucking all the time. He has a lot of videos on that. Check out his channel, ADGE0042. Right on. So yeah, we normally just come down here at the Hortons and drink a lot of coffees and do stupid things. Like, uh, you know, don't do one. Are you gonna do one? Are you gonna do one? They're like that. That's cool. <laughs> wow. So now he's gonna- Yeah, guys, totally check out my channel. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> It's normally what we do, come down here, drink a lot of coffee, and smoke a lot of cigarettes, and just get into bullshit hijinks. That wasn't a good idea. Alrighty, so this is one of the other things we do, is smoke cigarettes outside. That looks like Adrian over here is having a problem finding a lighter. I got it. Oh, you got it? It's camouflaged, it's hard to find. Oh, jeez, hides in your pocket. But yeah, it's typical, typical Canadian thing, eh? Just hanging out at a Hortons. You ask any Canadian, what kind of coffee do they drink? They'll tell you Tim Hortons. We got what? 11 of these in town? 13? Oh, more than that. I think we have almost 15 now. Yeah, almost 15 we have Tim one Hortons. In, uh, one in our grocery store, Canadian yeah. Tire. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one at the gas station down on Conklin. Yeah. There's actually three in the same area. Yeah, that's the right. One at the one on McEwen. The one at Sobeys. The one at Canadian Tire. Yeah, and They're then there's the uh, Tiger, the one at the Esso station. Yeah, and then there's uh, the one on Trout, the one on Seymour. Two, two on Lakeshore. Two on Lakeshore. Yeah. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Just there's coffee shops two everywhere. Two at the college, I think. Three. Three? Three. One in the main lobby, one in the D-Wing, and one in the CAF. Actually, one in the university. Four. There's Hortons all over the place, and let me tell you, they're always busy, and they always pull a profit. Because people are addicted to the cocaine they put in the coffee. I'm just saying. Do you love coffee? Yeah, me too. Oh, shit. It's, it's like three in the morning. <laughs> We're yelling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah this, is, this used to be the typical uh, midnight hangout, and, and then people changed jobs, and other people got busy with other things, and... You know how it is, and yeah, but that's the way she be, eh? Alrighty. Here in Canada, we like the wildlife. <laughs> the wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the wildlife. What are you going, bud? You're getting hit by a car. Check this guy out. Come here. He's adorable. What? Come here. He doesn't talk, though. He's not a Felix. With your tail. <laughs> He's got a poof for a tail. Something else that's really annoying about Canadian summers. Well, in Canada you have two seasons. You got winter and construction. And let me tell you, this city right now is riddled with construction. It is brutal. Detours everywhere. But we make it by. Something else that's messed up, I don't know if you can see that that well, but the gas price, $1.27. That's a liter. There it is there too. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a buck 27.1 a liter. Now basically, it's 3.78 liters to a gallon. You do the math. It's not pretty. Now I know a lot of you are probably, Adam, that looked kind of boring at the Horton. You guys don't really do much. Let me tell you, sometimes there's some funny shit that happens down there and there's some real friggin' awesome stuff that goes on. Uh, this one time, a little while ago, it was me, uh, my buddy Adrian that you met tonight, and another guy that we call Poo Poo Garrett. He has a YouTube channel too, all he does is smash things. Uh, it's named after his name, Poo Poo Garrett. We were down at the Horton and we were just dicking around 
Garrett got this bright idea to uh, take one of the caution cones from inside the building, go outside, fill it with snow, and remember when you were kids and you made sand castles and you filled the bucket with sand and then flip it upside down, plant it in the dirt, lift it up, and you had this perfect shape of the bucket made out of sand? Well, he did that with snow in the drive-thru. So, <laughs> sure enough, he ends up making like six of these, sets them up in like a bowling ball fashion, like a bowling pin fashion. And then we just sat there and waited to see if anybody would go through the drive-thru. Well, the first person comes through, stops, backs out and leaves, figuring the drive-thru was closed. <laughs> in the drive-thru. No gloves. Beautiful! <laughs> That's awesome. Then the next person comes around, driving a big full-size truck. That was awesome. But he decides, who cares about these friggin' cones? I'm gonna ram them. And he just plows through them. Well, they kind of sat for a bit. And it wasn't exactly a cold winter. It was about 10 degrees. Some of them kind of turned to ice. And yeah, um, Garrett got some damage under that truck. But whatever. We never got in shit for it, so that was all right. And there was another time when... Uh, Garrett decided, I'm going to climb on the roof of the Horton. Now, they're so stupid over there. They got this ladder in the back. And the only thing keeping you from climbing up is maybe a four-foot steel door. So all he did was he started climbing the ladder. And he jumped up and grabbed the bar, did a chin up, and pulled himself up on the roof of the building. Yeah, we got in trouble for that one too. It was actually at the Hortons that we were at tonight. And surprisingly enough, nothing got done about it. But it was, it was a funny thing. I did a vlog on that last year. Um, if I can find the clip, I'll throw it in. Hey, Garrett. Yeah. What's on the roof of Tim Hortons? Hey, let's find out. Okay, let's find out. Oh, but there's a big door in the way. Big door? Good thing you can do chin ups. Oh, oh shit. I'm too fat for this shit. <laughs> Don't fall, buddy. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> He's a bitch. There's a milk crate up here. I think they've been smoking a little weed up here. <laughs> I better get down from here before I get in the shit. <laughs> yup. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Oh shit! Somebody's coming through the drive-thru. What the hell are you guys doing? It's pretty good. It was done. It was shot with a really bad camera, though, so I, I you know, beg my part on the quality. But uh, it, it was it was a funny thing. But uh, I spent a lot of times down at that Hortons and at the other Hortons is and going for coffee and just all just all out shenanigans. You never know who you're gonna meet down there. You never know what's gonna happen. And I yeah, spent a lot of money and a lot of time down at the Tim Hortons with my friends. And that's just one of the things we do in this town. So like I said, this town is not a big town. It's only 54,000 people. Well, it depends on which way you come into the town. If you come in from the north, it's 56,000 people. If you come in from the west, it's 52,000 people. And if you come in from the south, it's 54,000 people. So I just average it out and say it's 54,000 people because nobody friggin' knows. So all in all, so, so you're all probably wondering, well, Adam, if it's not a big town and you know, you're a computer guy because you mentioned it in your last vlog and you vlog that you work for a company that's a computer company. Why do you stay a little city like North Bay? Well, to be honest with you guys, I love it here. North Bay is an amazing town. We got two freshwater lakes. Both are awesome for fishing, even though I haven't been fishing in a long time, but they're great for swimming, even though I haven't been swimming in a long time. But anyway, I'm getting to my point. You know, it's a, it's a quiet town. There's not too many people here. Not, not a lot of, of crime in this town. It's a pretty quiet place. There are days that go by that the police beat has nothing on it because nothing happened. Yeah, there's a lot of senior citizens in this town. This town is a retirement center. We also have the college and the university. And let me tell you, that's about to start up soon, which means this place is going to be a oasis. That's right, a oasis. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, we got two decent bars in town, which is kind of sad if you live in Toronto. You're probably like, 
two. We got two on one corner, but you know, we don't need that many clubs because those two are always packed. And a third one did try to open and it failed royally. So yeah, this town is, it's, it's, it's a retirement center. There's not many jobs. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. There's not many jobs. I lucked out. Where I work, I lucked out. If I didn't get that job, I was moving and I got that job. So it's a quiet town. I like that. I like the quietness. I'm not a big city guy. I'm more of a a small town guy, so that's my thing. So that's a little insight on what it's like living in Canada, more or less living in North Bay. So that's my vlog for this Saturday. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it, uh, it it meets the credentials. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Give the like button a little clicky. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section. I myself will respond as vlog in life. And until next Saturday, guys, have a good one.